Hello everyone, this is Jay Dobbins of the Marvel DC Multiverse. We are now at episode 376, and I'll be discussing one topic, which is DC Comics uh, Chief Creative Officer Jim Lee has confirmed that there is no fu- that there are no future plans for the Snyderverse. So, um, DC Comics is making it clear that the Snyderverse had its day with the release of Zack Snyder's Justice League, and now the comics giant is moving on to other projects. During an appearance at San- at the 2022 San Diego Comic Con, uh, Chief uh, Creative Officer Jim Lee gave a diplomatic statement on Warner Brothers not expanding the storylines that were set up in the Snyder Cut despite the hashtag Restore the Snyderverse campaign that sprang up immediately after the film debuted on HBO Max. Uh, Lee said, and I quote, I worked on the projects that are in the, uh, I work on the projects that are in development, and so I think the Snyder Cut was Zack's vision uh, realized, and it was a really satisfying story told, but there is no plans for additional work on that material, end quote. So that's what he said, um, you know, according to comic book resources. Um, and he said, uh, and I quote, he also said, and I quote, so I was happy to help contribute to the pitch for the other stuff. And it was kind of fun to actually see that stuff go out there. Cause I did that years ago. Actually, I thought it, you know, it had been a race, but they had kept it in storage. End quote. So of course, um, this stance doesn't come as a total surprise to me, of course. So, But shortly after the Snyder Cut released, the director started making poignant comments that hinted at tensions with Warner Brothers, according to Zack Snyder. Also, you know, according to him, the stu- you know, according to Zack Snyder, the studio passed on a uh, third 300 film that he wrote during the pandemic because there were not uh, huge fans of mine. Um, end quote. Sorry, he said, and I quote, because they're not huge fans of mine. Um, sensing that, you know, sensing, sorry, sensing he, you know, wasn't wanted, um, Snyder set up shop at Netflix where he's currently at work on Rebel Moon, an original um, side project that started out as a pitch for a standalone Star Wars movie. However, um, just this week, the bad, bu- the bad blood between Snyder and Warner Brothers came into more focus due to a Rolling Stone report that uh, detailed how the studio launched an investigation into the Hashtag release uh, the Snyder Cut campaign after having concerns about the authenticity. Sorry, about its authenticity. Warner Brothers execs were also, you know, were also reportedly targeted over by over overly of uh, aggressive Snyder fans who wanted, so he went so far to review Bomb Godzilla vs Kong for stealing the Snyder Cut's thunder. Judging by Lee's uh, Comic Con statement, Warner Brothers and DC uh, probably aren't looking into. Sorry, aren't looking to go through any of that again. So um, that concludes this topic. Feel free to visit us, like us on Facebook. We're available on iTunes, Google Play Music App, Spotify, and of course YouTube.